G'day. I'm doing a pre-sale on this house. All right, it's a pre-sale plan, so we'll just make it look its absolute best so that when everybody comes through, they like what they see and don't get distracted. Some of the things you focus on in the pre-sale is going to make your stainless steel appliances really pop, make them stand out. We'll show you how to do that. It's the same for the oven. It actually looks pretty bad, but I'm going to show you that as a close-up. Things like any glass that you've got a splash back going to make it look good. Make sure the benches are clean. The handles, these ones are pretty wrecked, I'd say. I'd be surprised if we can get these back, but we'll give it a shot. They're all rusty as well. And the fronts of the cupboards, right? The other thing is the sink, um, and I'll show you how to do that. But they're the things that stand out. So around the house, you probably do windows inside and out. That just changes the place. Um, and definitely washing doors and door handles just to make sure that there's no yuckiness that someone feels when they come through the place, right? Um, but I'm going to give you a quick look at some of these areas here just to give you a closer idea um, and then we'll get started. Okay, so let's start with the range hood. Now, someone's given it a clean, but they haven't finished it very well. There's a whole lot of streaks on it. Um, and quite honestly, I've got some work to do on this one because it hasn't been cleaned very well. So I'm going to have to fix that first. But I'll show you how to finish it, right? So that you can actually get a really nice finish on there. The splashback's not bad. It's got a few streaks and things. We'll fix that up, that's easy. Stove top will be pretty easy. We'll just make that look nice. Right, but this oven, this is a bit of a problem. You can see all the blotches in the stainless steel, right? But you can see it's look a bit grotty. Looks pretty hard well on. But we can rectify a lot of that. See this? They're all like it. I don't know how much of that we can get up, but we want to try and make it look brand new, and we'll use some tricks on that. The other things are the cupboards, the faces of the cupboards. We just need to make sure they're not fingerprinty or streaky, um, and that's just a matter of washing them and drying them properly. And then, of course, we've got the sink. Okay, so when you're dealing with these cupboard handles, it is all rusty. It's not just grime, there's some grime on there. Uh, I like to use some GIF on a non scratch scour. You can use the cloth if you want to, it's perfectly okay, a wet microfiber cloth, but we'll use that to wipe all the GIF off. Now we just wipe the GIF off. I'm actually pretty happy with this. Right, so it's easy to see it. Okay. Now that's a bit of a surprise for me. I thought these were pretty wrecked. Uh, but now that I don't have to get new handles, it looks nice. It's much more presentable for the sale. They didn't ask me to do this today, it's just something I know needed to be done. But you can see the real difference between the two of them. Uh, I'm going to go and do all the rest now. Okay, so I've just given the range hood a really good clean, right? Now, what I didn't do is I didn't use any GIF up the top. I did use it underneath though, right? Uh, I also cleaned the filters as well. 
Now, ordinarily I just add some steel clean to this to make it look fantastic, but I just noticed on the side, you can see it, looks pretty poor. Right, now we can actually make that look a lot better just by using some GIF, so we'll give that a shot. So that's made a big difference there. I hope I didn't get in the way too much. I'm just gonna do it on this side, just to get that sorted out, and then we're gonna apply the steel clean to a nice dry range hood and make this thing look amazing. Okay, it's a lot better now. So this is now officially clean, it's been well dried. I use glass cleaner on it just to help dry it up faster. But for the next step, this has to be completely dry. You don't want it to be wet at all, so I've done that. All the underneath has been done. We'll put the filters back in when we finish this. But I'm just about to use a purple steel clean. I've done a whole video on it. There's be a link in the description for you uh, for working with stainless steel. But I'm just going to get to that, and you'll see what it looks like. Trust me. You'll love it. Okay, so finished product. Looks a bit better, huh? It's now clean under there. It's an old one, so there's a few scratches and dents, but that presents a very different picture when you're buying a house. All right, done the cupboards, done the handles, done the range hood, looks fantastic. Now I can attack this part here, right? We want to make this shine, it's glass, it's one of the easiest um, splash bags to clean, right? Um, just to make the dishwasher and they could give it a wash, I'll show you a cheap glass. But um, if there's any fat spots on there that won't come off that easily, that's the only reason I really got the GIF and the scour. Um, it doesn't look like it, I think it'll be fine. Uh, and then we've got bench tops and also a stove top to do. And we'll go into that one later. But let's just get this splashback out of the way. So as I said, there's dishwashing liquid spray. Give it a spray. Now, when you're doing a splashback, it's a good time to double check under the cupboards as well. All we're gonna do is wash it with a wet microphone cloth. Ordinarily, if I'm getting lazy, I'll just use a glass scraper and just go straight along. It's glass, it just makes it easy. Right. The alternative, just some sort of uh, glass cleaner. I don't really care which one. Just spray it on, dry it with a nice spray cloth. Just let that dry up. As it dries, I'll be able to see if there's any extra streaks, so I can always touch it up if I need to. The other way to do it is just get a totally fresh cloth and just go over and just double check. But we'll let that dry. In the meantime, we'll get to the stove top. So this is going to be more about presentation than anything. It's, it's dirty, it's really dirty, right? But a lot of it's actually dust. There's some built up stuff around here. We're going to attack some of that, but some of these stains in here, they're not going to come out. Always take the knobs off, it won't always be easy. If you do struggle with it, don't take them off, you don't want to break them. And we have to attack in here as well. So first thing I want to do is actually wet it. And I'm just going to scrape these areas here with a glass scraper just to get rid of some of the excess and we'll show you how that works.
I'm gonna show you how to make this thing look amazing, even though it's really ratty. Okay, this is going to look fantastic for a pre cell clean, right? We're going to clean this up. There still might be a few blemishes and so forth in the stainless steel, uh, but we'll be able to get back to pretty much the state. One of the key things I use on this is GIF, but I've got to be really careful because I can't use GIF anywhere around these uh, black writing because it will actually take it off. So, uh, but I can use it everywhere else, I've just got to be gentle with it. So, I might use a scar with this, it's only going to use a wet washcloth. Um, and so, first of all, we're just going to give it a spray with dishwashing liquid um, spray. Um, and then I'll get in and do some scrubbing with Jif. We'll dry it on. I'll use a glass cleaner to speed it up. And then we'll treat the stainless steel the same we did with the range with. As a part of the pre-sale clean that we're doing today, we're going to make this sink look the best it possibly can. Right? It's a bit hard worn, there's a bunch of things, little scratches and so forth, so the drains back look great. The tap could look a heck of a lot better. So we're just going to show you how to finish up the sink and make it look its best. Make sure you can get more money for your sale. As you can see, it comes up nice. Gives the whole place a different look and feel. It's still drying a bit there. But focusing on finishing taps correctly really makes a difference. Okay, pre cell clean done. All the cupboards are looking nice and shiny now. Splashback, streak free. Cupboard handles. Not rusty anymore or grimy. Range it looks brand new. Still okay under there. Stove top, that looks changed. Oven, 10 times better. Sink stand, everything's finished. Now, I ask you, does this look like a house that hasn't been looked after? Did it look like one before? Sure did. To make a big difference to your sale, it's worth the effort. Well, you can pay someone to do it. All the best. There you have it. If you think this video is good stuff, please tap the like button and share it with your friends. If you have a question or you just want to say hi, whack it in the comments below and I'll get to them ASAP. Of course, I'd love you to join me on this journey. Just tap on that face with the green circle to subscribe. That way, when you need good cleaning advice, it'll be easy to find. Here's a couple more videos to check out. Thank you for watching and good luck with your cleaning.